Hey guys, my name is Baron Callahan, and this week I'm going to show you guys how to paint hair. Sweet, so this week I'm going to show you guys a little insight into how I paint hair. Um, a lot of people do it differently. Um, it's very personal, very uh, unique way in how people do it sometimes. And so this is how I paint hair. Um, you necessarily don't have to do this, but this is just how I do it. This is my technique. So. Okay, perfect. So here is a subject matter, private kind of painting I'm doing right now. Um, but I'd love to show you guys the hair that I'm working with because it's very dynamic. There's a lot of stuff going on here. And one of the things that I was going through with this painting is, oh my God, there's so much hair. Where do you start? Um, the most important thing for you to do in, in this scenario is to squint at the subject and blur it out. And then whatever you see, whatever colors you see at that moment, paint those colors. It's good to work broader than to narrow. So what I mean by that is work with a, um, your generic colors first and then go to detail next. So I'm at a point with this painting where I can add a little bit more detail. So I'm gonna show you guys what you should do. Cool, so um, a paintbrush that I love to work with is a rigor paintbrush. Here's a rigor brush and what it looks like. Um, I use this with all of my hair paintings. This is great because it's got a long, long hairs here that allows you to get a long, allows you to apply a lot more paint onto the canvas. And I'll show you what I mean. Focus in again. Okay, so I'm gonna work from the back to front. So what I mean by this is that there's some hair that's overlapping between each other. I'm just going to put some of that paint on. You see how I work um, from the back out? That's really important so you can kind of get um, a tip, a nice... And I forgot to mention this, sorry guys. Another thing that you guys should use is walnut oil um, or liquid. I don't per don't like liquid preferably, but uh, walnut oil works really good as well. Um, this is really good to thin out your paint so it moves more fluidly onto the canvas. So see how it was really easy to move that paint across. See, just like butter. Okay, I'm gonna add some more here. So you can see see now the kind of those lighter lighter strokes. Um, I'm going to take another rigor paintbrush, wherever I can find one, because my studio is a disaster. Um, and I am going to put a little bit more darker colors into that area.
see how lovely that goes on. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit more walnut oil because that will allow me to have a smoother smoother paint stroke. Perfect, and honestly, you do this pretty much with all your detail. Use this type of brush, a rigger brush, and you can get such great de hair detail. And I promise you, you'll get better results painting hair this way than using any other brush. And also, don't forget to use liquid or walnut oil. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, my camera's going to die, so <laughs> enjoy your day, and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.